Now, I don't know what your this, your this is. But whatever your this is, talk to me somebody, it's going to work out for your deliverance. I don't know what your this is. It may be sickness. That may be your this. It may be finances. It, that's your this. It may be me having to face foreclosure. That may be your this. But whatever your this, let me say it this way, whether it's this or that, it's going to work out for your benefit. Watch this. Now, for that to happen, though, you got to check your attitude. Verse 18, he says, I rejoice and will rejoice. Now, let me ask you, what's your present state of mind? Are you pouting or praising? Are you regretting or rejoicing? Paul says, rejoice! Listen, sometimes you have to move out in faith to rejoice when things are not praiseworthy. But there's something about doing this when it may not make sense to others, it makes sense to you. See, some people will look at you funny. What you praising the Lord? Don't you know you ain't got no job? Why you come in church all excited? Do you know what's going on? Oh, you in denial, ain't you? That's what's wrong. Oh, church, we got to pray for Sister, sister uh, uh, Odell. She's in denial. No, I ain't in denial. That's not where I am. I'm in defiant. Let me say it this way. Young Malachi, a couple of Monday nights ago in Bible study, after Bible study, you know, little Malachi loves to pray. Malachi will pray every Sunday, every service, every time we got something going on. Malachi, who is now six, is willing to pray. Well, on this particular Monday night, Malachi prayed and said, Lord, in his special way as he talks to God, help us to disrespect the devil. That was Malachi's prayer. Lord, don't let us respect and help us to disrespect him. He's bad. Listen, to uh, be in denial is one thing, but to defy simply means I'm disrespecting you, devil, because you want me to pout. But I'm going to disrespect you because the God that made me made me so I can praise him no matter what my circumstances are. And I'm telling you, you listen, listen to me. Don't show him no respect. Let Roger uh, Danger Devilfield not get no respect. All right, y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. Don't give him no respect. You disrespect the devil when you praise the Lord. So at any rate, Paul says that uh, this will turn out for my deliverance. I shall rejoice. I, that's in the future. I shall rejoice. It's a passive voice verb, which means that the subject doesn't perform the action, but he receives the action. He's the recipient of the action. Now, the action is rejoice. He says, I will rejoice, which just simply means I will be made to rejoice. In other words, things are going to be of such, when God starts working it out, it's going to make me rejoice. Now, in the first part of verse 18, I will rejoice. That's in the present. But I will be made to rejoice in the future. That's why I'm not whining in the present. I'm going to be made to rejoice because I got the prayers of the saints. I wish I had some help. And I've got the provisions of the Spirit, the prayers of the saints, and the provisions of the Spirit. I, I shall rejoice because there's some folk praying for me. I ain't got no help. Somebody, somebody ought to, ought to latch on to that. Know this. Somebody's praying for you. 
you may not think it, but I want you to know there's somebody praying for you. There's some saints, if you're part of this body, we're praying for you. We're praying for one another. Are y'all listening here to me? And we know God is able to do exceeding abundantly. Above all that we ask or think, according to the power that is at work within us, we're praying for you. So, so you will be made to rejoice because of the prayers of the saints, but then the provision of the Spirit. It says the supply of the Spirit of Christ. I just told you that word supply. Y'all forgive me for rehashing all of this, but I, I, I told you that that word supply had to do with essentially the undergirding of a stage with dancers who would perform before an audience. That there would be somebody who would pay for or undergird the production where the dancers could dance without worrying about having to pay any price for dancing. Ever got a witness? All they had to do was to focus on the production because somebody who had the means undergirded the performance. The Holy Ghost undergirds us so that I can dance and uh, perform services unto the Lord without having to worry about a stage collapsing because the Holy Ghost says, come on, talk at me. He's undergirding the performance. That's why when others look at you funny because you resolve to go on and praise the Lord though your circumstances don't look so hot, you go on and do it because the stage manager Come on, somebody. The one who's paying for the production gives me reason to dance. I wish I had somebody here. Somebody ought to just stand up in Jesus' name and say, I'm going to dance because I've been undergirded by the Holy Ghost. Come on, talk at me, y'all. I'm not getting ready to pout on the stage of life. I'm getting ready to dance. Have I got a witness? I'm getting ready to bless the Lord. I feel like it right along here now. Like just go on and praising God. All is not well all the time, but the Holy Ghost, he's got me undergirded. He's got you undergirded. Are y'all listening? That's the supply of the Spirit. So why are you rejoicing, Paul? Why shall you rejoice in the future? Well, you'll be made to rejoice because some folk are praying for you. And then you got the saints, talk at me, y'all, being undergirded by the Spirit. And then we come to our text. He says, according to my earnest expectation." 